Hello Taurus, welcome to your you and them reading. This will be looking at your energies as well as your partner's energies. This will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or are talking to somebody right now. All right, so let's get into the reading. This will be a general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Taurus watching, so make sure you keep that in mind. Take what resonates and leave the rest. It's a general reading, so it won't fit for everybody at every single point of the reading. Okay, so let's get into this spirit. I'm gonna start with the animal. I'm actually gonna use the animal spirit deck today. It's gonna to get some insight into how your person feels or what they're thinking about you and vice versa. Spirit for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know regarding their person? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Liking the videos helps a lot because then other people can see the videos and join this little community we have here. I read all of your comments as well. So thank you to those of you who uh, take the time out of your day to leave me such kind comments. I really appreciate it. All right, let's see, Taurus, Taurus. Tell me about the person that Taurus is thinking about spirit. What are their thoughts or feelings in this connection? The person that Taurus is thinking about at this moment, what are their thoughts or feelings towards this connection? Oh, this one. Ooh, dolphin. So in their mind, you've changed their life in some way. Once you meet the dolphin energy, um, they kind of change your life, whether you know it or not. The things are not the same after you meet them. Very uh, sensitive, playful creatures. And also they kind of have like a sixth sense, the dolphin. So I feel like your person feels like you're a very important, uh, unique person. Someone that they just can't find anywhere else. Tell me more about Horace's person. Horse. Interesting. So there's a lot of, um, they might want to make a move on you. Um, they might find you to be very supportive, reliable, strong uh, with the horse. This card is about freedom, being able to kind of pick up and leave and the horse can go for many miles and long distances. So I feel like your person, interesting, it's like they, I just immediately, as soon as I saw that card, I thought they want to make a move. Horse is very strong, very reliable. You can um, jump on a horse and ride for, for miles and miles. So typically it's someone that you can count on. So I feel like your person thinks that you, Taurus, are someone they can rely on, someone very special. So let's see, tell me about Taurus. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me about Taurus spirit, what are their energies? at this time regarding this person or this connection how does taurus feel at this time regarding this person or this connection oh you feel there's some sort of entanglements here maybe there's some sort of attachment here that might not be the healthiest Maybe you're very dependent on this person emotionally or financially. There are, there's an attachment here of some sort with the octopus. I just heard slippery slope. All right, what else for Taurus? What else for, for Taurus spirit? Ah, huh. but you have a lot of love for this person or this person has a lot of love for you, but I think it's you for them. The deer um, energy is very similar to the queen of cups for me. Um, very nurturing, motherly, loving, patient. So I think even though there might be some sort of entanglements here, something unhealthy or codependent possibly, um, 
I think it's due to how you feel about this person. So let's get into the tarot. I'm gonna keep it simple today. Just gonna pick up a few cards for you and a few cards for them. Get some more insight into how you feel about each other, what's going on with you. I might pick some cards for mutual energy, which I haven't been doing for the other signs for some reason. Typically in this spread I do, but for some reason I haven't been doing that. All right, of course my cards right away. All right, Spirit, tell me about the person that Taurus is thinking about. Tell me more about what's going on with them. What are their energies at this time? person that Taurus is thinking about. What are their energies at this time? Emperor energy, three of swords. What are their energies at this time? So they, um, they're going through some sort of pain here. Heartache, maybe they caused pain. We'll see when I clarify. Oh, they might want to apologize. We have the Knight of Cups here. This might be that move they want to make. What else can you tell me about this person? That's way too many. Hey man, interesting. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Does not have to be. Those are just the signs that I see here. But it could just be the energy of the cards. For example, with the Emperor, your person just wants to take charge of the situation. Regain control. Stabilize. Make a decision. The Emperor is all about order. He's also a warrior. Yeah, your person has had a change of heart here. Okay, so what about you? Tell me about Taurus. Six of Swords reverse. Either you're trying to leave a situation and you can't, or someone you want someone to come back. Tell me more about Taurus. What are their energies at this time? Ooh, you feel a little bit like your investment has been um, wasted. Your time maybe has been wasted. You've wasted your time and your effort here. Hmm. And Taurus, we've had some readings recently where you guys are over it. So I wonder if this is this continuation of that. What else for Taurus? What are their energies at this time? Wheel of Fortune. You want change. Maybe something just hasn't happened yet. Something good is happening for you, Taurus. Good luck, good fortune. The wheel is turning in your favor here. What else can you tell me for Taurus? What else can you tell me for Taurus, please, Spirit? What are their energies? Four of Swords, you're doing a lot of thinking and healing resting, reflecting. I think it has to do something with like a heartbreaking situation, a disappointing situation, something that, you know, you had a, a, a dream about was shattered here. And I think it's due to your person because they have the Three of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So they could be apologizing for 
what they did. It could also be Taurus that you want to leave this behind. You feel it's a waste of time. You feel like you've spent too much time on this, that you've invested too much and not seen any results, but you're not moving. Perhaps because of how you feel, your emotions, maybe you feel loyal to this person. Let me clarify spirit. Let me clarify these energies for Taurus, please. Okay. Tell me about this Three of Swords. Oh, see, I forgot to pull some mutual energies for you. Let's pick just two. Tell me about the mutual energies of this connection spirit. Actually, I think I should move on this side because you guys can see those more. Tell me about the mutual energies here between Taurus and this person. What's going on in this connection? Third, okay, three of cups and nine of swords reverse. So I, there could be a third party interference here and that's why we have a three of swords on your person's side. But someone's over it. Someone's over the anxiety, the worry, the wondering, the sleepless nights. Tell me about this three of swords, not three of swords, three of cups reverse. Tell me about this three of cups reverse, please. Tell me about this three of cups reverse, please. Someone could have been married or in a commitment with the queen of pentacles. Tell me more. What's this nine of swords reversed about? What's this Nine of Swords reversed about? An ending, a betrayal. Possibly something happened here that was very painful, a very painful ending. And that's why someone's not worried about it anymore because it's over. Maybe you're waiting for a new opportunity, Taurus. So tell me about the Three of Swords. Let's look into your person. Okay, we got the temperance reversed. So something here couldn't come together. Something was on balance. Tell me about the three of swords. Maybe someone was impatient. Tell me about the three of swords, please. The full reverse. So they were impatient, off balance, or something didn't come together because it was a reckless decision with the full reverse. Someone wasn't thinking about what they were doing. Um, someone was blinded by their ambition. It wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right approach. All it caused was pain. Sorry, I'm having my breakfast. <laughs> it's a smoothie. Yeah, someone's emotions were not balanced. This wasn't an immature decision. This was a decision where someone's emotions got away with them. They weren't thinking clearly. Could have been with this third party. Tell me about the emperor. What's the emperor doing here? 
five of wands so if there's any conflict or disagreements here i feel like this person wants to kind of fix it tell me about the four of cups reverse there could be a lot of people involved here people that don't need to be involved okay so they changed their mind about a partner we got um, the lovers here gemini energy Someone here changed their mind about who they chose or what partner they want. I don't think this choice has already been made. I think someone possibly was waiting a little bit too long, hesitating and making this decision. Um, and it's not reversed. So that tells me that um, it wasn't a bad choice that was made. So someone's still deciding having a change of heart about who they want as their partner tell me about the knight of cups tell me about the knight of cups please for taurus knight of swords reverse so very yeah be careful because if the per is this, if this person is expressing how they feel or extending an apology to you um, there's something that they're not telling you with the Knight of Swords reverse or the delivery was terrible or will be terrible if this hasn't happened yet. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Oops. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Be careful. I think that this person is not telling you everything with the Ace of Swords reversed. This could be in regards to the effort they're going to be putting in, something to do with career or finances. Tell me about the Six of Swords reversed. What's this about? Yeah, you're going after a new opportunity here. Either you've received a new opportunity and are going for it, but for some reason, I think... Let's see. I feel like you're delayed from this departure. Something's happening with this departure. Tell me about the Six of Swords Reverse, please, for Taurus. Whoa. Okay, that's the tower. Bottom of the deck, High Priest is Reverse. So I feel like something's going to come to light here. Someone's going to speak up about something make you an offer or you're going to be announcing that you're leaving maybe admitting that you've been planning something going after a new opportunity something here i feel like is coming to light and it's going to be unexpected whatever it is is going to be unexpected you're not going to see this coming taurus whatever this is whatever this opportunity is you're you're not seeing this coming at this time or other people are not seeing this coming, the fact that you are going after a new opportunity. And I feel like regardless of whatever this is, you're delayed or blocked in some way from leaving. Tell me about this Seven of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? the empress reverse so something wasn't growing um something wasn't working here yeah you you are you're done i feel like you are not you're creating boundaries you just want the truth you don't want to deal with any more drama um you're cutting out what what's not growing tell me about this wheel of fortune you have some amazing cards on your side tell me about the wheel of fortune Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Taurus? Oh, there's two. So I feel like whatever you weren't able to move on, whatever you weren't able to manifest, that's changing. Whatever feelings of being like stuck, unable to create or manifest what you want, that's changing with the Wheel of Fortune.
some major arcanas here on your side. Major energy shifts. I feel like for both of you. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Yeah, look at this. Justice. Libra energy. More major arcanas. You're thinking about how to make things right, how to, this could be a legal matter or an official decree or official decision um, that you've been thinking about or waiting for. Tell me about the Four of Swords one more, please, for Taurus. Yeah. The world. Wow. Yeah. You are going to make something happen for yourself. You're going to have a whole new cycle. One that's fair to you. One that's balanced to you. Um, I feel like the truth can also set you like in this new beginning or like move you to a new beginning here, a new cycle. Because the justice card... They're objective. They're seeing the truth for what it is. They're using their, their logic, their reason to look at something for for what it for the truth of it, you know. So this isn't someone that puts on a blindfold and, and hopes for the best. This is someone that they don't care about the emotional part of it. They're gonna look at the truth and speak the truth and deal with the truth. With the nine of wands. At the bottom, I feel like you were very, um, I feel like you really spent time in this situation. You, you held, held in there, you hung on, you weren't giving up. You were very protective of yourself, of your heart. And um, I feel like now it's time to let down those walls to have this new beginning. I feel like in this new beginning, you're not going to have to be so protective or defensive. <clears throat> I feel like this is a new investment for you. Whatever this is, whatever this new opportunity is, whatever offer is coming, I feel like it is coming after this ending between you and this person. There's been some sort of ending and I feel like your person, you know, they really screwed up and now they're going to watch you have a new beginning without them is what I feel. You know, I don't think, I think you're going to surprise them, surprise yourself with this tower. I think even you are going to be shocked by this, by this decision that you make or this offer that you jump on. Um, you know, you're not going to see it coming. And I think it's going to be for a good reason. It's like this offer is going to come at the right time with the Wheel of Fortune. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.